dry wreck right now and I arrived yesterday but it was thunderstorming or it was rainy um, all day so it was really hard to like film and get footage but I'm here right now Arara Extensile Rainforest Awareness Education Centre and I'm here volunteering for a week. Um, they have a lot of volunteers um, coming all over the world. Um, basically they rescue animals, they maintain animals, they feed animals. It's a really great solution and they find a lot of like problem solving tactics to help the Amazon jungle. Um, essentially I'll show you like a tour of everything and how things run but it's so cute like they've got like sloths here they've got all types of monkeys like spider monkeys really tiny baby monkeys really massive monkeys they've got manatees they've got otters oh so cute and they all have like their each person like they all have their own personality and own character which is so funny it's really important for them to have volunteers because the main people who stay here like the uh, vets the biologists the ecologists um it's very hard for them to sort of run the whole thing by themselves it's really great to have other volunteers all around the world because there's so many animals and they've got so many duties and tasks we each get um, activities each day and duties to do so this morning I fed the otter Daniel some fish and he was <laughs> I don't know because he makes like the scariest sound like he makes such an angry sound but I think yesterday he was really mad because he didn't get his playtime um, so today he sort of made the same sound but maybe he was just excited for food who knows um, but so we make we prepare food for them usually sometimes we go fishing um, sometimes we'll clean like the pools clean the cages it's really good for them to be re uh, rehabilitated and usually their lifespan um, is longer when they're in captivity when we are basically monitoring them and helping them in the younger years so they can handle the jungle um, by themselves in the future which is really good because so many poachers so many like hunters they'll try and steal the monkeys um, mothers to sort of eat to sell and then the little monkeys they'll use for like trafficking um, to sell again or they'll just leave them there and yeah it's really sad that there's a lot of orphanages for monkeys but yeah so I'll show you guys around I'll talk more about the place later but um, I've got to have breakfast the facilities are great here too Wi-Fi is not too good always goes on and off but what can you do we're in the jungle there's so many bugs as well and it's so it's so muddy everywhere but there we go i will show you guys around and hopefully you guys get a really good insight of how things work and why it's so important to support these types of organizations and rescue animals because there's so many animals in the jungle and they are very quickly being depleted and going extinct um, because of the situation happening through hunters, through um, deforestation, through the climate changing. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm about to show you. Hopefully um, it yeah, gives you a sense of how things work in the jungle. This is the room that I'm staying in. I'm staying with like one, two, three other girls i stay up there at the top my cute little thongs and my chili socks just the back yeah, of it has been it. in the coffee and the front has been yeah. in the butter but... that is daniel the otter and right now he's not as angry as he was before I am putting the tape this way because yeah. you can try to grab it and the head here because this is the first thing that we see. Let's see. So we see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and the other piece is just going to be uh, just going to be like you know, small pieces. What was that? This? Yeah. A uh, chicha morada. I haven't had that yet, no, I don't think. It's purple corn. Oh wait, I have purple corn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, vamos, come in. Maybe he's trying. Yeah, maybe out. he's trying to get us Mira. to. <laughs> he's like, open it for me. Mira, acá hay. Ya, pero ábrelo tú. <laughs> Dani, aquí está. Ya, mira, acá hay adentro un pescado. Mira, sácalo. <laughs> he didn't even take the head. No. It, the, it just the, fell down. It just fell down. Will he find it later? Hopefully. 
Mm. But yeah, I think it works when it's frozen. The last time we gave him frozen and he didn't. It yeah, he he knew it was there. And also yeah, because maybe the, the hole, hole is, is not, too small. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's just gonna be destroyed by the end. No, you know. Oh, <laughs> he's like a dog. You know, mas. <laughs> How did she, like, was she rescued? Yeah, she was also kept as a pet. As Most a of pet. these animals are kept, like kept a as pet. a pet. Mm. And yeah, she was getting bigger. So. Hey, chica, she's very playful now. <laughs> Okay, and here we have the cabbages monkey. We have the brown cabbages monkey here, which we have two females, mm -hmm. and the white <gasps> cabbages. Oh yes, Michael also. Okay. That one's a boy. Three of them are boys. Okay. <laughs> it was just smelling. It's not my smell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like so woman, you know this. No woman can go inside it into this. Just make this. Yeah. Mikhail? Mikhail? I don't like it. I don't like it. And he's still looking like, at me angry. He's like, Mikhail, what the fuck? He's never gonna love me. Mikhail, please. <laughs> Right now, I'm going to be cleaning the manatee's pool. So I have to take out all the leaves first. Don't let it go. <laughs> She's just looking at it. <laughs> she didn't know what to do about that one. Oh, it just flew away. Yeah, there's no spiders. They're either just ladybugs, flying bugs, insects, grasshoppers, dragonflies. No, Hey guys, so I just finished um, my full day of um, duties. So the first thing we did was basically, what well, I did was basically um, feed the fish to um, the otter, Daniel. Such a lovely, like, otter, the otter is honestly so funny. He is like a dog, like he will um, want playtime, he will want the fish, he will try to like get you to pet him. He's so nice, and he's so cute as well. And so that's what I did. Um, and then afterwards, I sort of fed the other monkeys. There's all types of monkeys here. We sort of prepare their food in like bowls and we put, um, fruit and peanuts we put bananas sometimes um, we give bananas to them as treats and then we also um, give them like sweet uh, 
sweet pumpkin, sweet potato, tomatoes as well. We put them in little bowls and we sort of like have to weigh the serving sizes and then put them in um, the little containers and then we give it to them through like a cage. I cleaned one of the cages, which was not too bad. I really liked cleaning the cages because um, then you get to go into the cage and the monkeys are there and sometimes they'll hop on you and it's so cute. But right now, um, I finish for the day. We get, like sometimes we get a cook who cooks for us, which is super nice. Yeah, really great day. I'm just gonna explore the area. Sometimes the monkeys like to grab your bracelets. Oh my God, I think he just whispered over to him. I think they're bitching about me. Alright, so that's where I live. That's a hanging area. That's a quarantine area where the mantis and like little baby monkeys live. And that is the eating room, dining room. And we've got some like dogs there as well that are staring at me. Those two are the toilets. That's a quarantine center where the manatees are. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like just normal dog poo or human poo. <laughs> Those are um, coconuts, I think. For the monkeys and then you've got Daniel the otter's heart. Where is he? There he is. Hello! the pond and in the pond there is like basically the manatees food when they give it flowers for the gym best part so you, is you got a telescope which is so cool so you can see out there that's Daniel's enclosure hello so we have now arrived at the monkey cage Hello. <laughs> These ones are very playful. They've got the houses there. The food, leftover food, because they got coconuts and lemons and tomatoes and things like that. This is the butthole. I don't know what, I don't know why it's snowing. I think the monkeys over there sleep because it's like kind of nighttime afternoon ish. These ones are super playful as well. Hi! Hello! <laughs> so they own, they have their little two houses there. Squirrel monkey. They're so cute. Alright, let's journey ahead this way. Here is my favourite. We have the <laughs> ocelot, ocelot. I think I completely butchered that. Sort of. Hello. I think she's purring right now or growling. I'm not too sure. So that's sort of most of the place. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to like the common area now where most of the animals are and we're about to have dins. <laughs> <laughs> 